do a quick video and show you a um, new skimmer I got. Um, I traded in, got rid of all my fish now, except for quite the ones I'm keeping. Uh, so, yeah, there's kept the two clowns. Uh, firefish and the blue bass, wherever they are. That's just a quick look. It's still going through its cycle. You can see the diatoms there. But, uh, they're gradually disappearing now. It was worse than this. The rocks look better. But yeah. This is what I got. Um, 90 quid. I got 101 pound for all my fish, and this cost 90 quid. And this is rated for. I'll show you what it's a V2 skim, 400. It's made by um, TMC. Um, it's rated for. If you can see that, focus. There you go. Up to 400 litres. I mean, so it's like the Red Sea Max is 250 litres. So that's only what? That's half of that, it's 125 litres, 120 litres. So you could say overkill, but bigger is always better, especially with skimmers. Um, Well, we can say they had one um, set up in the shop, and uh, it was the one, the one, yeah, the next size up from this one is the 600, and uh, the amount of crap it's pulling out, and it just looked really good. And it's a hang on the back, so it should work really well. I'll try and unbox it a bit now. Let's do it with one hand, really. Let's have a look. I oh know, I can undo it. I don't want to ruin the packaging in case I have to take it back because it might not fit. Uh, right. <coughs> We're going to do this. Straps on there. Keep this video short, really. It's a bit boring unboxing it, but oh, what the hell? That's got to be pumps or something in there. Feels a bit light though. Let's have a look. She is. Um, and that's the rest of it. Must be. Yeah, actually, that's the pump in there. It feels quite heavy. Uh, Try and get out. It's really hard doing it one hand. I don't want to ruin the packaging because he said if it don't fit on the tank, if it's too big, as long as the packaging's alright, he'll take it back. That's it, three minutes, 50 seconds. Keep this video as short as I can. Excuse me a minute. So it's run by a Rio pump, which apparently they seem to be quite popular in America. That's what's going to run it. Don't really know much about it, it's just the pump. Some accessories. All other bits. That's the one I was looking at. That little nano one. And there uh, are. He, um, when I asked him if they do hang on the back nano skimmers, he said about that one, but he said it was uh, he wouldn't trust it. Um, they don't perform very well, the smallest one. So, uh, I've got the big one, I've got the big one. It should be pretty good. Oh, oh good. Sorry about crappy camera work. 
like the old in, uh, outlet bubble trap. Or I'll read the instructions and get it set up, do a dry set up and then put it on the tank and I'll show you. I'll do another video. But that's pretty much it. So yeah, it looks bloody good. A lot better than the Red Sea Max one. And this is going on that size tank. That's how it looks. Up against it, I can't get far away. It looks way better than the any skimmer I've ever had. So, and it's got loads of awards and stuff. Uh, I can't find it on there. Oh, there it is. From um, Practical Fish Keeping, which is the UK's like number one fish keeping magazine. So yeah. Should do the trick. Plus, it kind of didn't cost me much, so yeah, looks for an update. I'll probably do one tomorrow. So yeah, thanks.